This is your WXEO Daily News Roundup for Bull Falls Radio, 98.9 FM and 1230 AM in Wausau. For WXEO News, I'm Brittany Merlot. Several parcels along East Thomas Street are going to be assessed in an investigation of environmental contamination. The Wisconsin DNR announced that this award of Brownfield Assessment Services is helping the city of Wausau. What is a brownfield, you may ask? Well, it's a property where expansion, redevelopment, or reuse is complicated by contamination. They can be anything from a 500-acre former automobile assembly plant to a small abandoned gas station. The award will support the assessment of environmental conditions at several vacant parcels that the city owns along East Thomas Street. Mayor Katie Rosenberg said, We are one step closer to revitalizing this important Wausau neighborhood after several starts and stops and listening and visioning sessions. She said she cannot wait to see the new, safe, healthy, and affordable homes that will meet Wausau's growing housing needs. D.C. Everest names a new head football coach. Braden Mitchell will replace Tim Stralo, making him the sixth head coach in the program's history. Mitchell brings a balanced coaching style, a former quarterback with over 15 years of coaching under his belt at both high school level and college. Mitchell has been a long-term substitute math teacher in the district and will be moving to a full-time teaching role in the fall of 2024. Him and his family moved to central Wisconsin from Utah in 2020, where he took the offensive coordinator position at SPASH before becoming the quarterback's coach at UWSP for a season. DCE will open the season at home on Thursday, August 22nd, taking on Rice Lake. And the FDA approved their first prescription digital treatment for depression. It's called Rejoin. And it's actually a smartphone app for people who get diagnosed with major depressive disorder. Stevens Point reached a milestone on their Business 51 development project. 30% of the design plan is now completed. After sparking controversy among residents and business owners, it was displayed at an open house held at Pacelli High School. Over 25 people attended, including the owner of Belt's Soft Serve in Stevens Point, whose business is located right off of 51. He says that this time around, they did a better job planning. However, concerns still do linger among business owners regarding potential negative impacts on their establishments. With the proposed reduction of lanes, there are worries that access to them could become compromised. The current plan aims to transition the corridor from having two lanes in each direction to one lane with an additional turning lane. However, nothing is finalized. Elements like driveway locations and raised medians remain flexible. Until the next approval, avenues for input remain open through contacting the city officials. Military personnel and veterans will now receive more comprehensive care at Marshfield Clinic Health System. Staff and physicians are asking patients if they've been in the military or if they're currently serving. Wisconsin is home to an estimated 350,000 veterans. Information about patients' military history, occupation, and industry will not affect their health care insurance costs or coverage. And the 15th annual Children's Festival is taking place in Merrill this weekend. Kids will be running around with their faces painted, making numerous crafts, and enjoying time in bounce houses. It's happening at the Smith Center on Saturday. The purpose of this festival is to show kids all that the city has to offer for them and their families. It's from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., and the best part is, is it's free. The Smith Multipurpose Center is in the Mark Complex in Merrill. The Mark Complex is located at 1100 Mark Drive. And that's what you need to know. I'm Brittany Merlot for WXCO. Baseball tonight at AmFam Field. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with sports. It's the Brewers hosting the Seattle Mariners. Reese Hoskins is off to a good start at first base and at the plate. Replay overturned it. Now Hoskins! Flirting with the pole, it's gone! Reese Hoskins makes it 2-0. Jeff Levering, Bally Sports, Wisconsin. Brewers general manager, Matt Arnold. Look, we're trying to win as many games as we can here this year and and in the long run, you know, and so that's a tricky thing for us to balance when we're able to add veterans here with the type of track record that that Reese has. That's really exciting. You know, he, he fits so well. I asked Hoskins if the team was a little in disbelief when they lost to the Twins the other day, 7-3. I think so. Look, you, you win four out of the gate and kind of get this feeling like, man, are we 
are we going to lose? Um, of course we're going to lose, right? It's a long season. It's a marathon. Um, but yeah, we're playing good baseball. College Hoops, another player leaving Wisconsin, but this time from the women's team, Sonia Copeland from the Badgers women's basketball team to enter the transfer portal. NBA, the Bucks at home tonight against the Raptors. Milwaukee with back-to-back losses to the Wizards and the Grizzlies. Is there something they need to improve? Uh, the only thing over the last two games is the pain points that we have to eliminate. Just too, too many drives. And it's just the old thing. Um, if our feet are fast enough or if our help is quick enough. In the last two games, neither one has been very good. That's Bucks head coach Doc Rivers. Milwaukee has lost four of their last five games. This is at times that we play really well. There's at times that we don't. But at the end of the day, again, we had open shots. Like, AJ had one. Malik had one. BP had one. Like, we had open shots. Pat, I think, had one. I had two. You know, you got you to make shots. That's the Bucks, Giannis Antetokounmpo. With sports, I'm Mike Clemens. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwaba. Actress Molly Ringwald says her 18-year-old daughter Matilda was conceived in the dressing room at Studio 54 while Ringwald was part of the show Cabaret. The 56-year-old actress and her husband also have 14-year-old twins, but they were conceived during intermission at a community theater performance of Oklahoma. Ringwald said she got pregnant with Matilda at 36 as her biological clock was ticking loudly. Luckily, those attending Cabaret thought it was the tap dancing. Sticking with sex, actress Elizabeth Hurley said she was not Prince Harry's first. She appeared recently on Watch What Happens with Andy Cohen and was adamant that she has never even met Prince Harry. Harry was vague in his book and says he claims he lost his virginity with an older English woman. People automatically assumed it was Hurley for some reason and not Angela Lansbury, whose new show is called Virginity, she wrote. Just a coincidence? (laughs) Haha, doubt it. The New York Post reports Conan O'Brien will return to The Tonight Show for the first time since 2010. Conan took over The Tonight Show in June of 2009, but was replaced when NBC reinstalled Jay Leno back into the host chair. The move did not sit well with O'Brien, who moved to TBS and hosted Conan from 2010 to 2021. O'Brien will join Jimmy Fallon to promote his new travelogue series called Conan O'Brien Must Go. Actor Jeff Daniels says rumors about Dumb and Dumber 3 happening are not true. But the 69-year-old actor did thank Jim Carrey, saying Jim wanted an actual actor in the first Dumb and Dumber and not a comedian who would try to top him. He also said a third installment of Dumb and Dumber doesn't happen unless Carrey is in. Sounds like Jeff Daniels is ready to bring those classically trained acting chops, or cheeks, to the toilet again. Ellen DeGeneres is launching a stand-up comedy tour, her first since 2018. The Ellen DeGeneres Show aired for the last time in 2022, not long after DeGeneres came under fire for mistreating staff. The 66-year-old comedian will start with four West Coast cities with more TBA. If you don't feel like braving the crowds, check out her stand-up specials on Netflix and HBO. If you attend this year's Wisconsin Film Festival, one of the can't-miss attractions will be an appearance by Oscar-winning director Alexander Payne on closing night. Payne's most recent effort, The Holdovers, was nominated for Best Picture at this year's Oscars. Payne will be at the 20th anniversary screening of his film Sideways and take part in a discussion afterwards. Sideways will be the last film screened at this year's festival at the Barrymore Theater on April 11th. A can't miss for film fans. For more showbiz fun, tune in to Nightlight with me, Pete Schwaba, every night between 7 and 9 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. Partly cloudy today with a high right around 47 this afternoon. The wind out of the north at 5 to 15. Tonight clear into the mid-20s. Tomorrow sunshine 53. We are keeping an eye on a system that will bring some wind and rain by Sunday into Monday. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Outside now it's 33. That's your WXCO Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at bullfallsradio.com.